Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we got some normal cigar to review, I guess. It's the AJ Fernandez Nicaraguan series. Alright, and this is a 6x52 Toro, I believe. Yeah, 6x52 Toro. Uh, I didn't really look into it, but if it says Nicaraguan series, it must be a Nicaraguan Puro, right? I can take a look at it right now. Uh, yep, it's Nicaraguan Puro. So, price is about seven and three quarter ish for one. Yeah, this is definitely not Churchill, so I. That's pretty long. So, let's take a look at this cigar. So this cigar is, you know, I think relatively pretty looking cigar. Uh, it's minimal vein that looks pretty like it's got the shine, but it's matte to the feeling. Uh, it's it's like almost velvety a little bit. And um, the band, I don't know, it's got those eyesore color uh, to me. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just one of those things that like I don't I don't know why they choose this blue. It stands out, but at the same time it's like eyesore because of the blue and gold, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a so deep of a blue that it actually I don't know. Um I guess it works if you wanna make a make a statement. All right, anyways. Like a... Earthy sweetness with a little bit of spice to it. That's what I smell. All right. The draw is okay, not optimal, but I don't think I had to really pull out a stamp. But then again, if there, if, if I had to, I could. It's not too bad. All right, lighter. Yes, I just randomly choose a lighter and just use. Dry draw is just a little bit woodsy. I mean. Cold dry, some people call it. Or well, most people call it. I call it dry dry. I don't know why. Uh, because Chinese is actually translated to like dry draw in my head. There we go. That took a while to shut down. Jeez. Earthy, spice, leather, mineral.
A little bit chocolate. A little bit of damp wood. Now, sometimes those chocolate kind of go between a chocolate or a little bit sour to coffee kind of thing. There's a, a in between, so I would say there's a coffee as well. It's mostly earthy though, mostly earthy. But it wasn't like that bad of earthy. It's kind of sweet of earthy. So I did find another uh, price sheet for this one uh which probably has less markup and this cigar is five dollar and 67 cent so i will just stay with the five dollar and 67 cent range yeah I'm a, uh. There's uh, a sweetness that kind of tastes either is with that chocolate note or a malt kind of sweetness. Yeah, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back because um, I can't get anything different right now. Be right back. All right, so one third. And uh, I also want to mention this cigar. If I didn't mention that already, this cigar is provided by Walking Man Cigar Roger. And, you know, once in a while, I like to smoke this kind of cigar. It's just like you can find it everywhere and you can enjoy it everywhere. So, yeah. Um, in terms of the flavor, it's actually pretty good. It's sweet. It's a little bit earthy. It's kind of cycle between a chocolate and coffee. It has a little bit woodsiness based on, but it's not that crazy. It's enough flavor. It's enough enjoyment, but it's not that crazy. Right? And I remember it says that five dollars something. Like I don't even have to base on that. Because like I say, any cigar has its value. To start with a, a cigar this big toro. I'm giving the base price of $6 already, right? But after smoking this right now, I'm at an $8 range. I can pay $8 for this, no problem. So, smoke output is pretty good too. Burn is pretty good. Ash is pretty good. So we're getting into the second third. And I'll be right back for the second third. But I don't know if I want to talk about this band. Jeez, this band. You're right back. Second third. Now the spice has a little bit of... <clears throat> bite to it like it gets my throat itchy but that's pretty much it like the flavor is same flavor is same it's a little bit more uh sharp of a flavor but everything else is the same strength about medium medium plus <clears throat> it's already over the expectation of what i have for this cigar so yeah eight dollar eight ninety nine even this cigar will be fine. So let's take a look at the band. It's what I don't like is the color. You see how sharp that is? That th this color is like you can barely read the word. See that? You can barely read the word, but it's blue. My camera barely can pick it up that goal because how blue this thing is. So that's the first band. The second band, let's see if I can take it off. Which is kind of cool. They put a texture on this. Uh, Right. Okay, I almost get it off. I almost get it off. There we go. You see? It's really hard to catch. Like there we go. You can see the texture on the on the gold part, which is kind of kind of cool. Kind of cool. 
Uh, the thing is that this thing, this line doesn't really match this. So that's kind of annoying. OCD problem, but not too bad at all. Like, you know, for $5, this is, uh, I would recommend this to anybody that, that just wanted regular affordable cigar to smoke with any day. So last year, we'll finish up and we will go to the summary. We are back. All right, so I am done here. It's a good cigar. I can knock this. It's more laster. It's even more harsh. It's just not as refined, you know, which is fine. Like for this price range, you're not looking for a very refined, very harmonized cigar. So you get the flavor. It's just harsher. And this is why majority of people will like this kind of cigar because you can, you can pick up the, the flavors. They're just harsh. Uh, when I say harsh, they're like sharp. They kind of make your throat itch, that kind of stuff. But aside from that, it's a good cigar. It's a good cigar. So I would recommend this cigar. Uh, my final value on this thing, I think the highest I can give is about $8.99-ish. So between between $6 to $9, $8.99, right? And I think, you know, if I go to a shop and I want to find something to smoke and that was $8.99, I will still pick it up to smoke. So because I know that AJ just makes a lot of good cigars that, you know, pretty much everybody can smoke. It's just like, you know, which region you prefer. And this one does have all the flavor. It burns well. It smokes well. Perfect for conversations. I will recommend this. So big thanks to Roger, the Workman Cigar, sending me this cigar. And um, yeah, that will be it for this particular review. So if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share, share the channel. Uh, if you want early access to some of the videos, you can join the membership. If not, you know, you can still watch those when they come out, right? Okay. So I will see you guys in the next review. Oh yeah, also make sure to listen to our podcast every Sunday 8 a.m. All right, bye guys.